I'm here with Chris Yates, live from Boulder, Colorado. Chris, of course, is the puzzle master who is offering some exclusive premium tiers for the Wonder Mark Jigsaw Puzzle Kickstarter. And uh, we're gonna ask him some questions about the kind of puzzles he makes and why he makes puzzles and how he makes puzzles and why you should get one of his puzzles. Hey Dave, it's great to be here. Good to see you. You make puzzles by hand out of wood. We've got an example that you made uh, that's a prototype demonstrating the kind of thing that you would make for us. Can you explain a little bit about uh, how you make puzzles there? So I'm basically um, making puzzles the old school way on a machine uh, that's called a scroll saw, which you can see in front of me, and it can cut all these sort of super intricate uh, things. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate real quick here how the machine works. It's kind of like a sewing machine, so instead of sewing together something, you're actually cutting it apart with this tiny little wire. And I actually <laughs> will often, you know, sort of tune the wire. That's how I know it's nice and tight. You can make it go really slow really fast, go into the puzzle, and, you know, make all these tiny, intricate curves by hand. That's amazing. I love that. I love that sound. So it's a pretty simple process. It takes a lot of patience and practice to sort of get to the point where you can actually make a coherent jigsaw puzzle that's going to work and be fun and you can play with. Right, because you don't just have to cut it up, you also have to make interlocking shapes in a way that is going to hold together. Right, yeah, you're constantly sort of obsessed with like joinery, making, you know, knobs and squares and things like that that are, that are going to hook together in interesting ways. But also the aesthetics of it are important. With most of our puzzles, we're actually cutting all the pieces and then we actually paint the puzzle. So instead of pasting pictures to it, which is sort of the traditional style, uh, we actually create sculptural and aesthetic ideas with the shape and the color of each piece. And all the pieces are painted separately, and then it, so you don't even know what it's going to look like until you assemble it at the, at the end, once all the, all the painting is done. And that's sort of a lot of the fun of um, my style jigsaw puzzles, is that there's sort of a little bit of improvisation every point of the way, so it keeps the process fun and fresh. But yeah, the really cool thing about what we're doing uh, with you, Dave, is that I actually learned after 10 years of doing this professionally how to mount a print to a board and cut it up. Um, you know, I consulted <laughs> some of my other colleagues out there and uh, yeah, they're coming out great. Really excited, you know, to make some more for all your Kickstarter fun. Friends, fun, yeah, fans. I'm excited too. As you mentioned, this is the first time that you've ever made a puzzle uh, quite like this. And for the Kickstarter exclusively, we're offering a limited number of puzzles that can have our poster images or any other, whether a Wondermark image or any drawing I've done or any other piece of graphic design that, that I control. Uh, you can put that on a puzzle. Anything in Malky's repertoire, I will take it off. There's got to be someone out there who has been following my work for 11 years and knows the v most obscure thing I ever posted to a Zanga. And I got to <laughs> dig up some 72 DPI file of that. If, if you're out there, my friend, you are my my angel. And I'll make it fun for you. Not only will I have the wackiest, exactly. coolest pieces, but I got have pieces that look like, say, like a bear in an ill-fitting hat or an sure, elephant sure. on roller skates. You could just incorporate that as a, as a puzzle shape within the puzzle itself. Oh, heck, why don't I just make that elephant on roller skates right now for you? Let's ya. see that. All Let's right. see that happen. This is when we're watching the art happen, the magic. So that tricky one. Woo. All right, it may not be the most incredible one, but with a little practice. And it just came out right now while we were watching. Yeah, we have a little bit of asymmetry here in the, uh, the roller skates, but that adds to the charm of the, uh, the custom puzzle. It's that no two pieces are going to be alike. No matter how much I try, I could not make the same right. Slightly uh, eccentric uh, elephant with roller skates twice. So every puzzle you've made has been unique in that way. Right? Yeah, that's kind of the fun of what I do is I kind of get to make art on a daily basis, but art that encourages uh, being played with that I know is hanging out with different families and uh, you know collectors and people all over the place who are sort of enjoying the work as a you know aesthetic cool thing, but also hey let's take this apart and get people together and let's play with it. And you know what? If there's a blackout, there's no batteries, you're sick of looking at a screen, <laughs> not a problem. That's one of the best things about puzzles. So you've been doing this for over 10 years. How many puzzles have you made in that time? Uh, original years? puzzles, somewhere around 3,400. Yeah, I've got a little bit of experience in the field. So whatever puzzle our premium backers end up getting, we know for sure that it's going to be completely unique and among the best puzzles they will ever have had or will ever have. Like, that's a guarantee. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a wonderful love letter for me and Malky to you. I've been doing this for a decade. I've known Dave for about a decade, too. And, uh, you know, we try hard to uh, make people happy. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's what I got to say. 
Well, we are really excited to have some of your original cool art objects uh, to be part of the Wondermark Jigsaw Puzzle Kickstarter. If you're interested in what Chris and I are doing, you can snap up one of those custom puzzles, or of course you can visit Chris's website to see the ones that he's making now, or the ones you can buy immediately. Uh, if you want to check out my stuff, you can go to chrisyates.net, and you can also go over to our friends at topatico.com. They also stock our production puzzles and a lot of other stuff that Malky makes. Um, yeah, it's great talking to you, Dave. Chris, thanks for sharing your studio with us today. I look forward to giving you the production order for all the custom backer tiers that come in from all the people who watch this video and are so moved that they instantly go to become part of this artistic movement that we are creating collaboratively. Awesome. Well, I'm going to get back to work then. Hey, guys. I was just talking to Dave. Let me show you a little bit more around the studio. So this is the scroll saw here. We've got a whole variety of broken scroll saws down here. These are my coffee cups. This is what I drink in the morning. A lot of my puzzles are just sort of designed on wood with pencils and rulers. We also uh, will use templates, carbon paper. Pretty low tech for the most part. Here's that puzzle I was showing you guys earlier. Over here is our sort of gluing and sanding station. So this is where we use the palm sander. Probably our favorite tool in the entire shop. We also glue things here. Here's a giant paper mache head I made when I was 11 years old. Very important. Our little fish pond here. Uh, these guys are very important to uh, morale. This is where we're uh, painting things like uh, bases to our puzzles. It's got a kind of crazy uh, geometric design to the cutting style. And then over here we've got um, some finished pieces to the same puzzle. Those are solid pieces, but with a lot of our puzzles, um, we actually sort of use like a spatter technique. Press it halfway down, it starts to make all these little drippy drips. So that's kind of a cool technique that we use to blend colors together a lot in our puzzles. All right, let's go inside. Come into our main studio room. You can see our spray paint collection. Here's all our active colors. Stencils, all kinds of different things that we spray paint through to make different designs. Check out uh, a base we just painted here. It's kind of a neat spindle design. The pieces will actually connect from the middle outwards. And then if you look behind you, see the same pieces to the puzzles. Once they're dry, we'll put them back together and then we'll play the puzzle. You can sort of see here how the pieces come apart. Got a nice tight fit to them. The blade we're using is about a hundredth of an inch thick. Once the puzzle's done, it has a really nice tight fit to it. Um, so it makes for a pretty satisfying challenge and experience. That's my uh, studio in a nutshell. Support Malky's Kickstarter and uh, yeah, thanks for uh, taking a look.